So I've been playing around with this ICOM F4SR. This is a PMR446 version of that radio. There's an SRBR version as well, but most of those will have been converted to 446. And here's what I've discovered. I press these two buttons together, and then I power the radio on. The radio goes into a self-test, and the display suggests there's frequency endings on it, a duplex option on some radios, and a low power option on some radios as well. If I let go of those, it will just boot up as normal, come up with the text that was programmed into it when I got it, and it goes on to channel 1. So, it makes me think that these ICOM handhelds of that era were based on a common chassis. I've had a look at the service manual for this radio, and it suggests there's other key positions on the board inside. I've not taken this radio apart, I don't really have any intention of doing that. But that's my thoughts, that it's a common chassis across ICOM handhelds from the late 90s.